Hi, I'm Chef Sherry, and I'm here to show you how to make wet burritos on the Blackstone Griddle. Burritos on the Blackstone Griddle are pretty easy to make. Um, this, I just realized, is a Michigan thing. I guess wet burritos originated in Michigan in the Grand Rapids area, according to Wikipedia, from what I understand. So I grew up with uh, eating wet burritos all my life. A lot of people say that wet burritos, um, they're like enchiladas. They are, but they aren't. Enchiladas are baked. Um, they're soaked more in the enchilada sauce than a wet burrito. So I'm gonna show you how I make my wet burritos. Uh, you're gonna start out with the burger. We got the hot griddle. It's been preheated on medium heat. So you could do medium, medium high. It's kind of windy in here today. I might actually go up just a little bit more. So uh, we're gonna start out at medium. So I have a pound of burger. I'm gonna put it on the, the grill. I have onions, just some diced onions, white onions, and uh, sweet onions. And then we're going to do seasonings. Any kind of seasoning that you use is okay. I use the Lowry's and the Morton seasoned pepper salt. So we're just going to sprinkle some on here. And then we're just going to let this cook up. We're going to break it up a little bit. wet burritos that I'm making today are just an all beef wet burrito. You can also do a beef and green bean, beef and refried bean burrito, which my family likes that. I prefer the all beef, preferably myself. Um, you can also do different variations. You can do uh, pulled pork. You could do pulled chicken in there. You know, you can spice it up and do different things inside your wet burrito so experiment with it a little bit have fun but this is the traditional the traditional is just a all beef wet burrito and basically a wet burrito is just the filling with wrapped in a soft tortilla shell and then it's covered with enchilada sauce topped with shredded cheese and then it's melted and then you add your toppings on that and that's how you eat it. So it's not baked, which in enchiladas are baked. So a little bit different than that. Some people will take the, once they get the main part of it, the cheese part of it on there, then they will we used to, if I do it inside the house in the winter time and stuff, I will just put it in the microwave to melt the cheese or I put it underneath the broiler in the oven and got, got it nice and crispy and golden brown in the broiler. So that's kind of how I like to do it if I'm doing it inside. But this you can do all out here on the Blackstone griddle. only takes just a few minutes to cook up your burger and onion with the seasoning so we're just gonna let that cook a little bit okay so the burger's been cooking for a few minutes it's starting to get little brown bits um, I don't see any pink color to it you want to make sure that your burger is cooked fully through because this is as far as it's gonna cook uh, you want to kind of separate if you have a lot of grease in with your burger at this point you want to start separating that out and get it in your grease trap you don't want you don't want your burrito to have a ton of uh, grease in it because that it, it won't be appetizing I'm just gonna 
get some of this grease out of here. Not a lot. It wasn't uh, too bad. I use like the 90-10 burger, but you can use any grade of burger that you would like. You can actually probably even use turkey, chicken, ground ground uh, meat. So, okay, so we're all set for that stage. The onion is cooked pretty good. The beef is, I don't see any pink left to it at all. Okay, so we got the burger all cooked. Now you're going to take the, the wet burrito and you're going to fold it. You're either going to want to do this on a plate or you're going to want to have the one side turned off so it's not hot. I do have these trays here that we're going to that I'm going to assemble mine on. So I have the tortilla shell here. I'm going to take the burger and I'm going to put and this is kind of, you put how much ever filling you want in it. If you, my husband eats more filling than I do, so sometimes I don't like a lot of filling. So I'm just gonna take and fill it like that, fold it over. And this kind of is, is tricky, so um, fold in the middle and then fold the ends so you get like a little pouch just like that, and then you're gonna flip it over. And then just make sure the ends are tucked in, just like that. And then we're gonna build on it from there. So then I'm gonna show you, my husband and my daughter likes the uh, beef and bean, the refried bean burrito. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So we have our beef mixture here and then I have the can of the refried beans. So I'm just, and you use how much ever you want. I'm going to scoop about that much on it. And then we're just going to cook it into. You can do it different ways. You can actually like wipe it across smear it across the shell and put the burger on top of it. Uh, they like it kind of mixed in a little bit. So I'm going to just like kind of work it in. So when they eat it, it's, it's all kind of combined in to it. So this would be considered a beef and bean wet burrito. So I have my tortilla shell. So either use a plate, you need to use a plate or use a pan. Put it like that. I have the mixture there. I'm gonna just put it in the middle here. Just make sure that I don't knock it off the, the edge off the grill. So I have it in the center. And I'm just gonna kind of work it in. So I, you basically want it kind of rectangle shape. You're gonna want rectangle shape. So we're gonna put one side in, the other side in. As you see, I'm holding it with my hand here. I'm holding the tray so you can hold it like that also. You fold one end in, hold it. You're holding it so you have the other hand to work with. And then you're gonna fold that side in and then you're going to flip it. Just carefully flip it over and you pretty much have a rectangle shape then with the the meat into the pouch and so it's all nice and secured in there. And then you're going to want to use the enchilada sauce and this also comes in different flavors. I prefer the mild. Our family likes the mild, um, but you can get different uh, different flavor types in there. They also make the green enchilada sauce, and you can you can use that also. So we're just putting a generous amount, but we're not like really soaking it in like you would with the enchiladas. So we have that. 
I'm just gonna set it on the warm griddle. It's not, it's shut off, so it's not on, but it's still warm. And this one is the, the all beef, beef one. So I'm gonna set it there. You're gonna smother it in cheese. And this is where you want to be real generous with the cheese. I like lots of cheese on it. So you're just putting it on top of the, the burrito itself. So we're going like that. And then I'm going to take the dome lid. You can either turn the griddle on and let it heat up you can just cover it with the dome lid and let the heat from the griddle just melt it i'm just gonna let that go a little bit and then i am gonna check it in just a minute and uh, we're gonna top it with our toppings and then within just a few minutes you'll have your wet burrito okay so our I've had the, the burritos underneath the dome lid. Um, in this too, it's like you may have to turn on, it depends on how hot it is around your griddle and how hot. I did end up turning on the griddle on this side just to, to warm it up a little bit because it wasn't going as fast as I wanted it to. So we're gonna take off the lid and I'm gonna let you see. Ooh, look at it, it's nice and melty. And it's bubbling a little bit there. So it's only been underneath the lid just, just a few minutes, just enough to let, let it melt. And then we're gonna top it. So remember, this pan is hot, so you don't wanna touch that pan because it, you'll burn yourself. So you can top it however you'd like. Um, there's an assortment of different, we like the shredded lettuce. So you're gonna top it here with the, some lettuce. You can do a little bit of sour cream. I'm gonna do a dollop of sour cream there. I do have some pico de gallo with uh, beans and corn in it. I'm just gonna put on the top here, just a little bit there. And you can do however much, much you like, however little. Um, I'm not gonna put too much on that because my family just likes it pretty plain. So voila, there you go. Dinner, very made very quickly. Um, you can put different kind of fillings in it. So swap it up however you'd like. Uh, wet burritos on the Blackstone griddle in just a matter of a few short minutes. Go to my website, frommichigantothetable.com, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this recipe, check out more of my other recipes that I have, and we'll see you later. Bye.